I'm gonna squeeze out just a little bit more movement. A player inside is gonna push in and surprise and does get a big hit with a pump shot there. The quick swap, the edit on the ramp to reverse the direction. A tick goes down. Mr. Savage picking himself up to 169 total HP. This is just so smart game sense wise, but right now he's got Boyer hawking him directly above him, following Mr. Savage down. But Coco is directly behind him, giving Boyer a difficult time. So Savage drops down in the fray saying, nah, -uh, I want nothing to do with that. Gonna cone himself up and now look to find a target. Well, like you said, these, these cone placements, it's a really good way. You just push yourself inside, inside the cone, you hold the edit, you can look all over the place. You don't have to worry about anybody blasting you like that, Nate, paying the price there, already qualified where they aren't threatened. Now into the top 15, so nine points already from this match. 42 points total for Mr. Savage picking up. Every time I feel like I say that, they get an elimination. I need to keep saying that. Well, anytime a player that you really enjoy is on screen, uh, Chad, just tell me to say their name. They, apparently they get an Elam. Uh, Savage pushing his way up the hill on the outside. There are so many big names still stuck in this game, though. Motor from Fnatic, Tamo from Alliance. You have so many more all the way up top. Majin dropping down on the screen now, almost on cue. It is ridiculous how competitive these games are. Yeah, every single player in here, a beast of a player in their own right. And you see that VR Nate taking out Plixie and back, immediately back. double edit onto Motor like he's picking off targets in a target practice map. No problem, and again, finds the heavy step. Can he convert onto it? Goes for the AR spam, gonna jump out the side as his build actually gets cracked and knocked down, hits the 67 headshot. Gets the AR swap. Zweski going down as well. VR Nate single handedly eliminating the lobby in his way to the top five. It's all about the eliminations of the victory. You gotta get back in the circle though eventually. 10 HP has to find a siphon. Cannot get touched by the zone. Is looking for it, but now he's pain. It's so awkward. But Mr. Savage goes down and he gets the spray as well. But no, Marco converts onto it. Was not quite enough. Was able to spray down the player above, but Marco taking advantage. 10, top five is seven, 15 is five, and there's that top 25 gets you three total. Each Elim is a point of its own. Crudson going, up, don't going down on the outside, I believe. Demento's just picked that one up, getting the second one. Freak is eliminated. So many ballers directly in front. You can almost kind of use those as a wall themselves. Demento's taking a big shot before just barely making, uh, making his way away elimination opportunities, so they're fighting each other. They're not worried about the ballers right now, but Dementos, no builds. Oh, if any of these players pop out, he missed all the way from They rolled down the wood. hill. It was no. so close. Oh, this is so, and now he this is just. get forced out. It, it, imagine if these ballers just created a wall and push them out in the storm. I mean, Rude. we've seen it done before, but now two players just pickaxing together, and it's fine. He's going to build it off. Now, Dementos is looking, wants to find that player, but instead, one of the ballers is finally going to hop on out and play some Fortnite with him, take him out there on the elimination. Nesty yeah, going down, but now the ball is trying to awkwardly make themselves up the side of the hill, and they're getting kind of pinned here, but Beehive, with only 10 HP, is looking to find it, and Bellix goes down, top 10 now. Beehive looking to force his way into no this build. box. He's gonna get held out in the storm. Oh, you're right, no builds there, but there's the metal. Is he able to connect with the pump? We do catch up, that's Diego, another one of those qualifiers there, goes down, trying to find that wood, and he, he gets back, back in. in, Lupo. He gets back in, top seven. Beehive, can he do whatever it takes? He's trying to, does have the minis there to pop off as Noisy goes down to Nico. He's about to hit another placement threshold as well. He hears the action next to him. Minute going down, so an additional two points for Beehive, and he finds Nico on the low ground as well, but Key takes advantage of the quick drop down, and then also takes advantage of Muster. 1v1, player dropping down. Key hits a great shot there. It was White Storm does the rest and ticks him over. Victory out coming out from Key. Didn't have zero Elim, saw him get at least three there, so. <laughs> but that's okay, there's still 38 players, and I promise you, he's gonna find some on these rotations as people moving in. We see him try to beam a player, but it doesn't quite work out. Maybe one here. Look at the, uh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Not having very much medium ammo to work with. He is putting it to work, catching two eliminations, now opting to go for that rip to make the rotation. For a potential weapon, explodes, stinks. There's so many other items that are also valuable. So I really like this item. We see here disrespect trying to climb up the side of this mountain right now. Kitty, we see the player. Ooh. Ooh. And that's it, sending another player Ooh, back to the lobby, gonna pick up mats as well. And I mean, he's doing well now. I mean, 70 mats. Any elimination he can get right now is so important. Well, tr 
trying not to take any storm damage. Ooh, and a clean wow. elimination there, finding the low ground, back turns, just picking that up. Yeah, and keep in mind, he picked up literally four builds from that player. <laughs> he did not opt to drop back oh. down for the rest, and he's gonna try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this player. Oh, oh Hawkers, he just jumps over the, the little floor there, catches what? one and two back to back. Wow. Like, what is going on? Now he's back to okay, but look up top. Disrespect, maintaining the highest with Complex Tamer there in the mid tarp. Left eye goes down. Flick is back up to almost full HP. And Disrespect is down to 41. Yes, down to 41. He wants to get this siphon on. And he, he gets it on Flick and run right away. It's a double. These double eliminations right now, Zeke, are absolutely insane. He had basically 100. The yeah. baller cracks, he's down literally half. That's what happens when you crack someone's baller. They have to go, I was so safe and now I am not. What am I to do? Oh, getting that storm tick damage on Santo is single. Getting that elimination, which allows him to live through the zone there. That siphon, putting him at 42 health right now. He would have died had he not picked that up. Builds, and, but now he's out, he knows he's out, and he has to go up that hill. He's going to try and face check a person there. Potentially pick up Bill. Oh. Finds 15. That's not much. No. Oh. Okay, Conjuration says, back to lobby for you, friend, and he's going to keep on going. He is version 2 of himself, so you like to see it, but he's caught in the storm, kid. He's going to find oh. That was so huge. The siphons are going to keep him alive, and someone in the ball right in front. I, he should have probably just cracked it, because, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, that player's just going to hop right out and do it to you. Demento's diving back down. He's got to stay on that lowest ground tarp as other players in the ball are just looking to harass his bills right now, making him uncomfortable. He only has 13. Oh, he got picked up an elimination. But the baller stole all the loot. You hate to see if he does have it. He picked up some mats, so it's still okay. Oh, huge stack here. They're going down the hill. People are going to have to start waterfalling down. You do not want to take that extra fall damage this late in the game. He is going to challenge that high ground up on top. We see someone land just above. He could go for it. 147 sending detox back to the lobby but keep in mind aqua's super high up in the sky if those builds come crashing down they're not going to survive yeah no redeploy on aqua either and uh we don't see if he has a jump pad or anything to work with but he does not want to go down and the players down below definitely oh we see dementos going down to i'm the beast we were watching earlier has found more builds to his name has a new redeploy as well and it looks like aqua will try and make a play down to the bottom now but i'm the beast on this low ground taking all of these players out has oh dying himself to the zone and wait what happened yep. there what so there's a lot that just unfolded there. Beast just picked up a handful of eliminations that helped him siphon and Aqua jump down. We are watching so many players effortlessly rotate in. Stops getting picked up. We were just spectating him. Controller down low. Looks like he's going to get caught out in a storm. Lots going on right now. And now we're checking with Felix. He's got the legendary pump shotgun. We saw how valuable that weapon is in this late game situation. Made it to the top 25. Got those three points. But now getting stunk. But able to get the siphon. He's going to be fine. And now look, we see the ballers down below. So what's interesting about those as well is if you're in a baller and you're kind of boosting around, this place space is so small, you oh can gosh. be sending yourself back in a storm. So you're taking free damage. So it's a give and take a little bit, but a nice elim from Nitro there over onto Varox, and his third his one. Push right now, Zeke. They're going all the way up the hill. The ballers are making it no problem, but being underneath that cliff puts you in a precarious spot. Nitro deciding to go around all these ballers, but he's got to be careful. They can jump out at any moment. I mean, it's going to get the job done. I mean, all he needs are field. those pumps. That's true. Like, all he needs is the land of pump. <laughs> Speak of that, pumping a player out of the sky has full help. Zenok gets cracked there from that baller. Now he's in a tough spot. And down below, we see Wake going down. He was up at the top of the leaderboard not that long ago. Mitro is critical right now. And we hop over with Theg Kaza, who's got the stink grenades. This is these items become so valuable toward the end game. They just blanket the entire play space. Look wow. at all these players. That's one coming through. He has an extra stink grenade as well. He can send it up. He can send it down and just completely disorient a lot of these players. I don't know if he knows previous is down below. That's why he may be opting to say, hang on to it just in case. Spot Miko above him. And we got Markle, ultimate high ground. All of these players following it out. Confetti taking out Miko. But now he's got Xenox to deal with, who gets dropped on by Markle. Kaza looking to play, make a play for the high ground. Markle dropping down on top of him. Maintains that high ground. Previous going down to the storm. Kaza and Markle in a 1v1 situation and Kaza going down to the zone. Markle unable to pick up the elimination and properly positioned up here. Has the two slurps to have access to and making a little bit of a play down below. Has resources but not a lot to work with. If he wants to maintain the ultimate high ground, it expends a lot. Oh! oh. Okay. What did I, okay. Just a, just a single. Even potentially Kinwin 
We see oh, they are immediately oh punished. Please. Left eye says That's I am too SMG. good. Wow, able to easily track his opponents, get those tags on him, and okay. And yeah, just, no, sure, yeah, okay. I believe it. He's able to build one wood He's, <laughs> across. He, he needs to come down now though. I like this decision making because he knows he only has a single bill, a nice find there. Five, uh, about to be five eliminations. We're in top five rather. This is it, Kitty. A lot of these players, they need to do everything they can to get these clutch points out. Top five in itself is great. Those extra points coming through, very, very important. Now left oh, eye, he's gonna get fingers. challenged. This is tough, especially when you're near, all you can think about is I need to get out of this. It doesn't matter wow. who finds hawkers and builds. And in, uh, potential impulses, don't you do it. Don't you make me lose my mind right now. Oh, we've got four players right now in here. We saw the stink grenades going out. They did so much damage to left eye. He was able to get that siphon. Now maintaining that high ground, not getting punished, has access to the two slurps and the campfire should this go to a heal off and taking advantage of these players getting ripped up, not able to land any shots and get an elimination. But now we've got ultimate low ground who gets taken out by jail mob and left eye on the top. These guys, 1v1v1 situation. Limbo's getting dropped down. It gets taken out. This is a 1v1. Jailbob still has that stink grenade access, drops the darts, ah, just making a play into the zone, but now there's more build that he has to work through. Left eye doesn't have a chance now to use that oh, okay. impulse. Goes for the campfire and the slurp. Jail's looking for any opening he can get, taking shots on him, but it won't be enough. Well, oh. listen, I'm disappointed that the <laughs> impulse didn't come through, but listen, left eye with a very intelligent play. He's like, look, I have 100, 100 uh, HP to me uh, to chink it up on that highest of the high ground. 42 oh. builds, four boogies, four and an boogies. as well. All right. Okay, we want to see you make a play on these ballers right now. Please take advantage of that. Pull some of these guys out. Make them stop playing billiards as he goes in. You see players coming down from the skies. Chinkin trying to line up shots. So, I mean, if he threw a boogie bomb just straight Ooh. down into the lowest tarp, he's going to catch, I promise you, at least two billiards. It's yeah. going to happen. Oh, and it's what boogie? He actually caught someone. He caught two. Oh, oh my gosh, it happened. You <laughs> like to see it. Windstrike mayhem going on and mayhem of his own. We see ballers there on the left. And one guy. Oh, oh did he catch a baller? No, he okay. didn't. He just missed it. Oh, oh but he does player. catch another player off guard. And another player, back to back players looking to take advantage, be able to take their slurps and their shields during this lull after they've left their ballers, but uh, misses the second, goes to box up. He has so many shields that he has access to use right now. If he finds an open moment, takes out another player. His positioning right now is absolutely insane. Oh! As I was going to start to praise him, Weiss shuts him <laughs> down. But seriously, the way he navigated that those box fights, knowing when to disengage, come around, flank people. Did he fishy up top? Uh, Exo in that mid-ground tarp, Rain up in that middle, and the, on the lowest is Weissmore. Yeah, Rain needs to make a play. Zod needed to make a play too. Both sitting on low HP. Zod does pick up Rain, able to get that siphon. Now we got Moir and Zon both on that low HP. They're going to expect that there's another player here with 100 HP, so you're going to see them trying to get aggressive here, try and get that siphon HP. Weiss making a play, but Fishy. I'm not going to make one in time. Fishy just sitting no. on that high ground looking Whoa, to take a tug, John. <laughs> Did uh, he think he was gonna get that out? Uh, I, I, Did he do the math? I don't. <laughs> Key here trying to do everything he can. We find a nice few shots. Could not secure the elimination though. But picks up some resources. He was sitting really low before. Not able to pick up all the stacks. I think he only got two of the stacks there. Here's an opponent <laughs> taking a shield in the corner and takes him out. Even gets a jump pad too. Not enough with the long range shotgun to take him out. But here's that rift goes off. Looks to the skies and he is... <laughs> He is dialed in right now, Z, getting so many accurate shots, totally tracking them perfectly. We do still have a baller on that low ground. I believe I saw one, yep. But Benji, on this high ground, he's going to have to do a little bit of water falling down. That's when the players build the walls and the floors to drop down. He does still have that jump pad too, so he's in a great position now. Has another opponent making these rounds below him. And uh, these two ballers trying to hang on to the mountain, take as little damage as they can, but Storm is strong. I think he has put himself in the best possible position because right now Benji Fishy has to dive down and it's so far that if he looks up, he can potentially get shots. We're going to see if anything can come through. Now oh, keep in mind, so much Benji, yeah, he's got the health advantage. He's got the heavy cypher as well. He could potentially blow through this person's builds right now. They're looking to make a play. Ooh. It's down to five HP, the difference. Yeah, Benji, insane job there. Amazing, amazing gameplay. 
Uh, but it's okay, we hit top 25. Everyone's getting a, a round of placement points. That's three for every player still remaining. Top 15 is the next placement threshold. Wakey trying to find something. Ooh. Great from Mosey there. Lines up that shot, able to get it. Taking the impulse out again, the impulse redeploy combo working out in his favor. Able to get the best positioning now in this next zone. All looking to punch a ticket to World Cup Finals. Oh, now, oh boy. did what you see that? I, I don't know. I, I was looking down below to think all these players need to move up or they're going to lose their lives. Yeah, Blacks is so low health. You saw him use the impulse onto the hill. Does get taken out by Hikana right now. All of these guys needing to rotate up that hill while taking the least amount of damage as possible. Confetti sitting in that ultimate high ground, getting so many clean shots in on these players. Through the wall, using the AR to focus him. I don't know if you saw the player on the his left, left side. Did I you don't saw think he did. Neither did he. didn't they, see him either. They just, like, ships in the night pass <laughs> by each other. <laughs> not want to go into one of those heal-offs at the end. Going to probably need to play a little bit more aggressive near these final, final, final moments. You see that dot on the mini-map on the bottom right-hand screen. That's where the zone's going. Makes a bit of a play up into this high ground. Ooh, and does get the elimination. Almost got stolen by the high ground. Finds it over on Marco. And Ooh! Going to flush him out of his positioning over on Joy. Finds another elimination. Three players remain, Kitty. He's dropping down because he doesn't know where these players are. He's trying to find him. No! And Thomas completely shuts him down. And a sticker goes up. And Confetti <laughs> making all the players pop into Confetti from above. Seals the high ground and has that rip to go to utilize. If he gets knocked down, he's going to be able to pop that mid air and save himself. Gets a clean headshot onto Lear, takes him out. We see a bush down below. He's going to have to knock that off before able to get any damage on his opponent. But maintaining that high ground, not being put down for this. Nobody looks like they're looking up and trying to shoot it out. We got Nips on the mid ground, Gase and me on the bottom. We got lots of action. Impel just taking out Toby. Diego able to get that shield off is so important in these final moving zones. It's so difficult. Two players in a box right there. A nice Top shot. Eight. On. Three of these players oh are God. going to Worlds. Shots going out for a lot of these players. Again, we're still in the divot playing around all the trees and old builds. We're going to have to see if players can. Ooh, oh, Boyer, Boyer gets gone. That's it. Boyer no. shut down. Seven players left. It's in that top 10, but out of that top 5, Boyer losing out on these extra elimination or placement points. But now we're watching Impel taking out Jane Nips right after Boyer there on a rampage. He's got enough build to make it in through these games. Oh, player dropping Two down. Two players on down him. low! Oh. He got on your left. He's going to pop out of the follow. Be careful. Oh, oh, the double trap. It doesn't matter. He gets sent in the storm. That's a bush. There's a player in the bush down below. Impel trying to shut him no. down. He's just completely caught off guard while Core Gaming is still on the top. Someone challenges. Clyde, Kylo goes down. It's a 1v1. What the heck did I just witness? Everything unfolded. Core Gaming has, no, he's got the flint knock. He's, okay, I was going to say, if he jumps down and flint knocks his guy, I'm going to scream. I'm going to let him mute my mic right now. Oh, he's got it ready. He's got it out. Don't do 41 it. HP, but oh. oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got up and walked away from the screen. Oh, case and eight going out to the zone. Core Gaming taking it all. One elimination. Outstanding job. 62 points after that game. And we have the standings. It's so close, man. It's so close. And just to clarify, when was talking about people being pushed out and people being pushed in, Core Gaming takes that spot. One other player just not in the 10th spot there was pushed out from the top eight because of it. Lecce was also pushed out. So deciding it, fact, boom, ended up moving up as well. So this is the eight who will be going through to the Fortnite World Cup final in New York City on July 26th to 28th. And I mean, so props, first of all, Dementos left by Fledemois. They've been around the scene forever. Just people who have been there, well-deserved, but a ton of names who I'm not super, super, super familiar with. Lucky, or Lukey, however it's pronounced, Wakey in there as well. Not two guys I've seen a ton of. Core Gaming, Bala initially gave him a shout out way back when on the Blackheart uh, cup stream taken off there and then big shout outs to to two grinders they've been putting in the hours fact boom fact law boom we saw him forever ago 